Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 9 of my Crystal Isles official Let's Play series. So, today, uh, we're going to take a look around the area and see what's what's happening, what what's what's there to tame and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to boost you up. Now, supposedly there is some rock drakes that can spawn uh, basically in the middle over here. So I want to see if we can spot any of them. They're like around here somewhere. They're not like the easiest things to spot necessarily in the world. They do have like a camouflage to them where they can go invisible. Although their invisibility isn't exactly invisible, but it does make it harder to spot them. But I figured if there's rock drakes that can spawn here, there has to be eggs, right? You would think that if the rock drakes can spawn here, so can their eggs. But... I'm not seeing any rock drake nests. Although they could just spawn here, I guess, without the eggs. Which is pretty useless because we can't, with like, the only thing we can do is get the eggs to tame them. We can't just knock them out and feed them. Hmm. I would have thought it would have spotted something by now. Is that aberrant? Nope. Nope. Just really bright. I'm just skirting around here trying to see if we can see something. What, what's up in the middle here? Could they be up here? You can go all the way up here, right? It's these big, big orange crystals. Huge orange crystals. Oh, apparently they're, they're, you can go straight into them. Alright. That's um interesting. What is that? That's a weird texture. Like the corner of the crystal. You can probably hear my cat meowing. He wants to come in here and drive me crazy while I'm trying to record stuff. Meow. That's all I can hear. At the corner of my ear. Huh. I really... Oh. Yeah, I really thought we would have spotted one. I'm pretty positive they can spawn here. The problem is, is like... They don't exactly stay 100% still, or anything like that. Oh, this is nice. Whoa! This is beautiful, dude. This is amazing. The rainbow and everything. Whoa! There's one. See him freaking out? They do that for some reason. They just absolutely flip out. Hey, there's, a dr there's Drake Egg there. Yeah, anytime they latch onto a surface and that for some reason, like, I don't think they used to do that when Aberration first came out. But, um, since the last time I pl oh, there we go. It's going to be easy. Since the last time I played Aberration, they've been doing that. What level is this rock break egg? Oh, and if you want coordinates, there you go. 47.778.3 for the rock drake egg. 85? I'll do. They're going to be pissed at me, although I don't think they can really get up to me. There's Kakinos, dude. Oh my god, that is a great level, Kakinos. They're in such a bad spot, though. Like, there's no real flat area where I can get a cannon on the ground and just blast his face to knock him out. Oh, this Rock Drake's pissed at me, by the way. See, the issue here is, bud, is that you do 52 damage and I do 582 damage. So that becomes an issue for you, really. Except for the fact that when I can't hit you. Don't hit me into the water. Yeah, get up on land. There we go. No, Kakinos. No, crab boy. Oh, my God. He's got a jump and a half, dude. 
Yeah, man, I'd love to, um... I'd love to get that. That'd be sick, because that's such a good level. That is an incredible level, Kikinos. I wonder if I could plant a cannon down here. Like, here would probably work. He jumps up, I blast him in the face. I feel like we could probably get him. Um, so if you want coordinates for this as well, 48.2 and 78.1, I'm going to screenshot this so I know I can get Kikinos from here. But, for the now time, we've got a rock drake egg. I want to see, is there any more around? Where was that nest? It was like over here, right? Somewhere. There's got to be more, maybe? What's in here? Oh, it's just for decoration, pretty much. You never know. Sometimes there's caves hidden. Whoa. You know what I haven't seen? Metal. I have not really seen any metal at all, which is a little bit concerning. I don't know why I haven't seen any. Like, I would have thought in this area there would have been some to be had, for sure. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just like a little alcove. I thought it was a cave. Uh, 140 Kikinos, that's my next goal. Probably won't happen in this episode, but next episode I'll be interested to try. We just grab a cannon. We like, quickly, we grab a foundation, chuck a cannon down, boom, cannonball it in the mouth. I'm um, two for two on knocking out Kikinos. Well, this is nice. Yeah, I'm two for two for knocking out Kikinos in that on aberration. I cleaned him up instantly. Straight in the face. Kapowi. No problemo. Dude, actually, this is going to be a little bit confusing to find base. Oh, God. Where the bloody hell do I live? I never... I never... Oh, wait. Oh, that looked like good. 25, 85. Oh, don't get angry at me. Calm down. Ooh, Tapajera. Which means that other boy can spawn here too. That new one can spawn here if, Tab if Tapajeras can spawn here. Oh, he freaks out when anything near him gets attacked, which is interesting. You didn't die? Ow. Yeah, you did. Whoa. That's a sick view, though. Um, we live over here, I think. Just over here. Just judging by that island up there. We live just through here. Here we go. We found our home. Beautiful. Um, no, I don't... I don't really have anything... Actually... If we want to raise a rock drake egg, do you not need, um, nameless venom? So, how would one acquire nameless venom on this map? Okay, so, apparently over towards the volcano between sun, between sundown and 5am, you can get rock drake spawns. Uh, it's currently the morning, though. Hmm. I wonder. Cannon. Just go the normal cannon. Alright, it's not going to let me do that. That's fun. I love when that happens. Okay, so now we've got them all unlocked just for the purposes of this so I can do this because it won't let me uh, do it myself. All right, we're going to need a lot of cementing paste. Oh, shit, we're going to need a lot of metal. We're going to have to start getting things organized with that.
Um, we need to set up like a metal smelting area and we need to figure out where the hell metal spawns in this spot of the map. Now, I think we've got about six total, maybe. I think there's one in here. Yep, so we got six total. That'll be fine. We just need a foundation or two. That's the problem with unlocking everything, which I really didn't want to have to do. Alright, there we go. We're just going to set this up out the back of the, uh, of the base. Do that, do that. Okay, we're just going to set it over here or something. Just a, kind of out of the way. And then we're going to go... Like this. 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 Um, and that's... Uh, you know what? Lineup could have been worse. Um, like this, and then like this. Just screw it, why not? I can switch between the two, that's all good. Alright, now we need to figure out where the hell metal spawns. Uh, you're probably my highest weight dino, aren't you? Yep, by a long way you are. You don't have anything left on you? No, you're good. Okay. I've got a level up available, which is nice. Uh, but there's got to be metal spawns somewhere. Also, I should probably screenshot where the hell my base is, so I know what the coordinates are myself. Because I'll end up forgetting if I don't do that. And then we'll be screwed. But there's got to be metal somewhere here. 100% there has to be. It's such a big area of the map. If there's no metal, I'll be stunned. And it means I'm going to have to like trip it into the snow biome, bang a bunch of metal and get the hell out of there. But you would think that the floating islands would have some form of metal somewhere. Um, but thank you guys and girls for all the... Uh, all the, the likes and the, the views and, and the support and everything else on the channel has been absolutely amazing. Um, oh god, I thought they were frozen spores. I shit myself a little bit. I thought we were dead. Uh, try and get 25 likes on this video. We got the 20 last video and I was really super duper appreciative of that. Thank you all very, very much. What the hell is that? What is that noise? Oh. Okay. Oh, screw off mod crate. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? They're all killing this sp an aberrant spino. Look at it, dude. Look at this spino. Oh my god, they're all fighting this sarco. Holy shit. It's Kikinosville down there, dude. What the hell happened to this? What the hell's going on? I think we kill some of these Kikinoses. There's a lot of them here that we can feast on. Holy shit, dude. They're all stuck in each other. This is insane. This is insane. They also take a lot of hits. I'm going to turn this down because I'm going deaf.
Did another one just spawn over there? What level are you? 140. Oh. Might leave you alive. Is it this? No, it's over here. It's, it's like out in this area. This random noise. Is it just the sound of the void? Also, how did we go with getting stuff then? Dude, we got a lot of poly and a lot of chitin. That's very, very good. And a few levels. There we go. I guess it's the sound of like the islands floating, like, you know, some kind of force keeping them in, in the air. I think that's the idea behind the, the random ambience. Freaking me out, dude. It was very confusing from a distance what the hell that noise was, but we found like Kikinoville, dude. Absolute biggest concoction of Kikinos and like crabs ever to be known. That's ridiculous. There was like six of them stacked inside of each other. But I still see no freaking metal. So it's like, this may be one of the best places to live, except for the fact that there's no metal spawns. Which is a major, major issue. I mean, we've gone through quite a, quite a bit of this biome and just nothing. Of the apotheses. Apothesis. Yeah, just no metal. I don't I don't know what's going on. No idea. Okay, we have finally found some goddamn metal. What a trek. But there seems to be quite a bit of metal in the Tundra Falls area. And the looks of it, this is like a rich metal node. Which is pretty much exactly what we need. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Holy crap, we needed this bad. I was getting a little bit desperate there, honestly. I just couldn't find anything. It, it, like, And rocks that I thought for some reason from a distance were metal were oil rocks in the snow area. And I think a lot of that noise may have been coming from the, like, the nightmare zone with all the lightning and everything else. We want to fill this guy with pretty much all the metal we can and then head back to base. Because we need to smelt a bunch of it. Yeah, so here looks like we've got quite a lot of metal nodes in an area. Which is very, very good. And it seems... Relatively safe. Now, of course, I always say relative because with Ark you never know if there's something around the corner that's about to sneak up on you. Even a compy. Combi army, if you will, could sneak up and kill you if you're not careful. So, you gotta be you gotta be on your toes sometimes. Alright, we're encumbered. Encumbered from all this metal. Alright, nice. There's just so much. There's so so much metal. I wish I had upgraded my pick even. It'd been a nice thing to do. But we're getting there. Like, we can hold nearly 700 weight ourselves, so... Just because of this backpack and then my normal weight stat all combined together. Okay, he's getting pretty full. I'm hoping I can grab maybe a little bit more. Probably about as much as we're going to get, I reckon. And we might even be encumbered with this. No, nope, we're good. Okay, we won't push it too much further because we're already very, very slow. Like, we're very, very slow. But this is a fantastic metal area at 37.9, 61.9. If you're looking for metal, come here because there is a lot of it. There is a whole hell of a lot of it. Okay, we're back at the base. We ended up with... 
3,500 metal. And we got some poly and we got some chitin. So that we're, we're pretty stacked. It was a very good trip. Um, something that I didn't get a lot of, though, was some wood, which we're going to try and get a little bit of. Like I said, I want to mine all the trees. I don't want to harvest all the trees right quite next to the base because I want some, like, aesthetics to look at. Screw you, Meganura. Got an RG over here, but he's flying away from us, so that's okay. A bunch of Meganura. Gotta be careful, because a raptor could just snap up and murder us. As I was saying before I ran out of disc space, it should be enough to smelt all of this stuff. It should be enough uh, wood to do it. We just got to divide it somewhat evenly between all of it. Well, we got six of them, so we'll go one, two, three. Um, that'll have to do. Okay, let's go like that. One ten. 110, 110, 110, 110, and then we'll split this, whoop, yeah, we'll just start adding extras in here. Doesn't really matter the amount, but you know, we'll try and keep it as even as possible. One of them's gonna have 55, this is what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna get that particular about it. Already felt like that was particular enough as it was. Okay, now we need metal. We grab as probably a thousand we could hold and still be able to move, so we'll do that. We'll go one, two, three, um, four. Five, six, and then we'll break up. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. That. Oops. Let's get all of this smelting real fast. That. And that. Uh, let's pull more metal in. Let's go like another, I don't know, thousand, I guess. We'll do pretty much the same thing. Three, six, do that. Do that. Um, we'll also break all these up, so maybe we'll go a little bit more in there. A little full stack into here, plus plus a little bit. Full stack into here, plus a little bit. Full stack into there, plus a little bit. Full stack into there, plus the rest of it. Alright. So now we're going to end up with a bunch of metal. It's going to obviously take time to cook. We're probably not going to get a Kikinos done today. Um, is there a way I can... Okay, these give me wood too. I want it out of my way. Okay, so now we've also got a bunch of this polymer that we want to put away and this chitin we want to put away. Ended up with... Well, you still got 1,500 metal on you too. I'm an idiot. I've been muted for so long. How long have I been muted for? Okay, so we've got the rock drake egg. Worst comes to... Oh, shit, that's not good. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think it's ever happened before. Uh, so I don't have Nameless Venom, obviously. I guess I'm probably going to edit out the part where you couldn't hear me talking. Um, so we're going to hope that this works. If it doesn't work, I mean, we can always get another Rock Drake. It's not like they're 150 Rock Drakes. Um, we'll have to see how we go. I'm going to turn off wandering let's get them over here a little bit just away from the machine hopefully we can do that um i'm actually not sure how long i've been muted for god damn it 
So hopefully it wasn't too long. I probably repeated myself multiple times if it wasn't muted for as long as I thought, but, you know. He wants care in 23 seconds. I'm gonna bet they're gonna want Nameless Venom, and I don't have it. So I've got to hope... I'm not gonna get any imprinting bonus on these guys. But like I said, we're gonna try and go for Rock Drakes. Because uh, it seems to me, from what I've seen, that some of them spawn in the snow or in the lightning biome, which is in the top right. So we're gonna see... Oh, he wants to cuddle with me. That's easy. Give me cuddle. Yes! Imprinting 100%. Oh, that's sick. Okay, we got lucky. We got lucky that it was a cuddle. A cuddle or walk would have been fine. Anything else, we would have been screwed. Um, but I think they'll live, even though I don't have Nameless Venom. Venom? I don't know why I said that so weird. Yeah, I think we're good, because they're losing food because they don't have the Nameless Venom. But they're going to grow up too fast to die from the food loss. So we ended up with two rock drakes. Freaking got twins out of the first go around. That's ridiculous. I do not have red gems. Um, you can get gems from the griffin nests in the desert biome. I know that much. I do know that for sure. I think these guys are good. Yeah, we're good. We got two rock drakes. They're not amazing levels or anything. But hey, we got 100% imprinting on both of them. Because luckily they didn't ask for Nameless Venom or, or the milk or whatever. Um, so we got lucky there. We got very, very lucky there. Hell yeah, dude. Freaking twins, though. I don't think I've ever had twins. Like, I, I honestly can't recall a time where I ended up getting twins from an egg. Yeah, I've had a set of twins in real life. That's, like, I've, I've seen, I've had two babies born at the same time, but not in Ark, I have not. Oh my god. Alright, so they're just gonna munch on that meat. Yeah, they're gaining food. Beautiful. Hell yeah, brother. Oh my god, that's insane. That's actually insane. I, I can't believe I got a set of a set of rock drake twins out of that. That's ridiculous. I don't I don't know what the chances of that happening are in terms of percentages, but that's uh that's madness. That's absolute madness. Alright guys and girls, I'm gonna show you a place where you can get the gems from without going to the Griffin area. You can come in to the uh, Eldridge Isle biome. These things will give you normal crystal, but these ones right here will give you all the different kinds of gems. So you can just come over here, and they'll also give you some element shard, which is really nice. Uh, so you can come over here and just smack away at these. And you can get your gems. Oh, God. So this doesn't hurt you. It just slows you down because you get electrocuted. Uh, so nothing to worry about. I, I knew that they slowed you down, but it still makes me... It still scares me when you start getting the electric sound like you're going to die. You assume when you hear that you're done for, right? You know, so I'm going to get a bunch of gems from here. All right. So like I was saying, <laughs> my daughter came in to talk to me. You can get all your gems here, no issue. What do we got so far? Okay, I'm trying to make sure we've got enough to uh, craft two Rock Drake saddles. What are they worth? Rock Drake. I need 85 each, so I need like about... I need 170. So we've got enough to get, to get the Rock Drake saddle. Do we need anything else? That we could get maybe over here. Nah, pretty sure we'll have everything else. Hopefully we have the metal we need. But yeah, this biome's super spooky though. Um, but some of the best dinos spawn in here. Uh, like when I was flying over here off camera, I watched a Alpha Carno just float from the sky and fall down into the ocean below. So, for some reason, it's, he spawned up in the sky. I don't know why that happened. Maybe he was meant to spawn up on a mountain, and he didn't, or the mountain wasn't rendered in. He actually slipped off the edge, and I just couldn't see it. 
I don't know, but this biome's super spooky, though. I don't think it's as dark as it used to be. Maybe over that side it is. But the Alpha Kano, like, fell down in here. I don't know whether he's still around. I don't see him anywhere. All right, let's go back to base. Okay, Rock Drake Cell. Uh, hello, we have red gems. Oh, I can't... For some reason, when it's in your inventory, it doesn't pull. I don't know why. So let's do that. We've got one. Can we get two? We can get two. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to have both... Both a, a saddle for both rock drakes. So they're obviously not the greatest level in the world, but even though they're not the greatest level in the world, we got two of them in one go, which I think is just impressive on its own, honestly. And of course it has to be raining, because why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be raining? All right. I want to kill this guy, but because he's a 140, I don't want to, you know. Um, all right, let's see. So what did we get in our imprinting bonus? 30% damage, 30% resistance. So we do this. We glide. Yeah, buddy. And then if we do this... We can lock onto it. I don't remember how to. Okay, C makes me go invisible. There we go. It's just left click. And now we're climbing around. Sick, dude. This is awesome. All right, well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. But if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Ark Survival Evolved in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace!